high-tech spec equipment, just explain to me, if you can, the difference between what you are able to do and what has been involved in the search up to this point, Peter. Well, Jeremy, the, the police have done a, a brilliant job so far with the resources they've got. We, we bring another dive team, the same as the the police because we cover the whole of the southeast for police diving so we have their the same equipment as them they have a sonar i think ours is slightly higher frequency than their sonar but we're all doing the same job and working to 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 one end really um but we covered large areas of ground today jointly they search further down the river we've been searching another part of the river but at the moment there's nothing to see i'm afraid so no developments um You've done this for a long, long time, um, and I just want to deliver the truth as best as we can. W what is your gut feeling? Do you think that this poor lady is in the river? Are you planning to continue this search for a number of more days? W w what's the mindset, Pete? Yeah, well, it's, it's a baffling one, Jeremy. I was talking to the police this afternoon, and with the police search advisors, we went to the bench where, you know, Nicola disappeared was supposedly they were where a mobile phone was found and the police divers were on scene that afternoon by by the when the days you went missing they were in the water searching the river is not moving fast and i after 24 25 years of doing this type of work and hundreds of cases I am totally baffled because the divers, normally you would expect, put a diver in. People, if they drown, they generally go down where they are. We normally find them within sort of five to ten metres of where they went down, even after a few days. This is the most baffling case I've ever worked on. You've been widely reported, Peter, as saying that, that the investigation was a mess and that you're baffled. Do you imply from that, and I'm simply asking the questions, do you not believe she's in that river? Do you think there's something else here? We've, we have to be so careful because all these conspiracy theories have been thrown around. What, what, what's your professional opinion, Peter? Well, yeah, well, just first, I never said that the thing was a mess. That was misquoted. It, there was a, there's a lot of spe speculation from everywhere. The police have done a brilliant job so far. It's a lot, they've got nothing to go on. That's the problem. All they've got, Jeremy, is a mobile phone at the moment. Mm. I said that it possibly could be a decoy. I worked on a case for Law and a Torn up in Scunthorpe. We found a shoe by the river. We were called in to search the river, but the actual shoe was laid there by the murderer. Um, she was found miles away, buried in a haystack. So this is a totally, totally odd thing. Uh, whether it's a plant, there could be a third party involved, I don't know. But the only evidence we've got to go on at the moment is the mobile phone down the river. And really, that's all we can go. There is much investigation work going on by the police in the background that they're continuing with. So, you know, they're doing great work in the background, the detectives and the police at the river here. But it's, it's a case that we just need to solve to, you know, s give closure to the family one way or another. And, and for you, I guess, most of what you're doing is, is getting rid of possibilities, trying to, 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 to tick things off. And, and, and it must be, I mean, I guess you don't want to be successful. I don't mean that also in the wrong way. You don't really want to yeah. obviously yeah. find a body, but you talk very candidly about how much of a, a shock this is. Um, I have to say, you've, you've done this for 25 years. You kindly offered your services and your search team services for free. Why was this case so important to you, Peter? It was it's one of these cases that dragged on and we, you know, I see a grieving family. I've done this with, you know, other cases like Ellis Downs case in the past where we've recovered the, the, the drowning victims. You know, we I mean, we get paid by the police normally if we get called in. But this case has been dragging on and it, it, we just decided to get get involved like we did with young Ellis. And um, let's let's try and find her. We've got the technology, we've got the experience to assist the police, who are already doing a brilliant job. But it's we can just bring some extra, yeah, extra bodies and extra technology to this search. And hopefully, you know, I don't want to find Nicola. I hope we don't find her. But I hopefully the detectives doing the job in the background can piece this together. It's a jigsaw puzzle, and this is so baffling. And I was talking to the police tonight. We're all baffled. And, you know, it's a difficult one, a really difficult one. Somebody was telling me, and I, I could be factually wrong, but the dog wasn't wet, the collar was off the dog, the ball wasn't wet. It, it really is a mystery, a macabre mystery, if you like, and you do absolutely get it right when you say 
you can only think about a partner, a husband and a two young girls who, you know, that, yeah. they must be in a terrible, terrible place. But you and the police are doing everything. What is your gut instinct, if you don't mind me asking you? What's your gut instinct, Peter? Well, I've, I've got total faith in the police dive team. We work with them all the time. So, uh, you know, the, the, I think, Jeremy, after I heard today where, how the police were here so quickly to search that mm. area where it's believed where Nicola went in, I personally don't think she's in the river. That's just my gut instinct at this point. I may be proved wrong later on, but the police have done a fantastic search already with their existing resources, plus their sonar. Now we've got our sonar. We're searching where the bench is tomorrow up the river. So we're going to go back over that area. Not that the police haven't done it, but we're just going to go further up the river tomorrow to try and, you know, rule this river out. And then if Nicola's not here, I do not know. It, it's, it's, it's just unbelievable. Peter Folding, thank you for being on JK Live and thank you for the work that thank you're you, doing Jeremy. free of charge. We really do appreciate it. And can I just thank repeat you. the thoughts of this entire yeah. nation go out to her family and, you know, let's hope Peter is right. <laughs>